Hey everyone, so last night a commentary video that I made about an Aikido sensei was taken down from my channel by the request of either that sensei or one of his students. Now I honestly believe that actually it was done because they didn't like the critique that was given to them and the feedback, they didn't like what they had to say about their Aikido style and that's the reason why they asked YouTube to take it down. Obviously that's not fair, but for you to understand both sides of the picture, I will explain everything how it went down in this martial arts journey video. Now the video that I made and it was taken down, it was a video commentary about one of the videos of Shirokawa Ryuji, an Aikido instructor. Now interesting, most of the video was actually quite positive. I was referring to that video by saying that maybe that is the future of Aikido because Shirokawa Ryuji, he does a lot of twists and flips in his Aikido. And so part of the big part of the video was actually, in my opinion, positive. Part of it though was criticism, especially about their knife defense, stating that it's actually a very poor level and it, that it, it's responsible to teach it that way and that if they teach knife defense in that specific bad way, that actually that may lead to the death of one of their students if they ever try to apply that uh, knife defense by having confidence, fake confidence, that by believing that actually they can deal with knives by knowing those four techniques. Now the part which makes all of this a bit tricky is because in my video commentary on a small square like this, I put a part of their video so that when I speak you would see what I'm talking about and what I'm breaking down. That is why they had the chance to claim to YouTube that I used their footage and thus they demanded for the video to be taken down which actually also leads to penalties for my channel. I'll talk about the penalties a bit later but to begin with the thing is uh, I'm 100% sure that the video was taken down unfairly. There is a law called fair use which probably every youtuber knows and that is the law which gives you the right to use the footage of someone else if it transforms that footage in the sense of transforming its essence. So, so basically a great example is a video commentary which what my video was about. I did not just bluntly take that video and put it on the screen and, and receive money for it and and received views. I took only small snippets of the video just as a representation and all the video was about, it was about the commentary. It was not so much about that video specifically. I was not ripping that video off. And such cases are protected by the law of fair use. If you make a video commentary about something, you have the right to use parts of their footage to represent what you're talking about. Again, I honestly believe that the real problem is the critique that I offered to that particular Aikido instructor. He appears to be quite well known in the world and, and his channel and his video get quite a lot of views and he has a lot of fans, I'm sure that whatever I had to say upset his fans or potentially even himself. While I can be 100% sure they filed the claim uh, because they were upset about it, it seems to be very likely. And that honestly really upsets me. First of all, we are talking about freedom of speech, of the ability to offer feedback, to offer criticism, to speak up your mind, especially at subjects which are important, such as self-defense. That is a life or death matter. If we're not going to criticize each other and we're not going to give feedback, each other on the subject of self-defense, again, we are potentially letting other people fool others into believing that they're supermen and that they can defend themselves in impossible situations. It is essential that we offer feedback to each other and the fact that that video was taken down, it goes against that idea. Secondly, we're also talking about the human ability to receive criticism. For me, it's such an essential part of my life. I feel that receiving feedback is, is a necessity in order for you to evolve as a human individual. It is so important to be able to listen to feedback even if you don't agree to it you have to give space for it and you have to give an opportunity to say someone something what they believe about you and especially you have to listen into it you don't just take down videos which are saying something you don't agree with or you don't like it takes a mature person to listen into criticism and to be open to it to give space to it and not to be afraid of different opinions and the fact that at least as how it seems right now that organization or that instructor or his students are not able to receive that criticism and they're taking it down that just potentially sh highlights even more of the trouble that I, I see Aikido has and what I was talking about in many of my videos in the past that lack of maturity that lack of honesty that lack of transparency that lack of ability to look at their problems and face it and deal with it or even more so talk about it instead of hiding it you can't hide things forever These these things will come out. Criticism for Aikido keeps growing on every different level. It's just that I'm probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest public person to, to do that. So obviously they go after me first, but others will come too. So just taking down videos and trying to shut people up, that's not the way to go. This is not a solution. It's, it's just a temporary withholding of things. And again, it shows a lack of maturity in that sense. They could have reached out to me directly. They could have written me an email. All of my contacts are on my channel. They could have written me an email and 
out saying, look, we're not happy you used parts of our footage that you didn't ask for permission. Although on a, on a big way, based on fair use, I don't have to. But let's say they would have wrote, wrote me that, written me that letter. Explain like, look, you're creating a bad commercial for us. You're destroying our public image. Can you please take down that video? And we don't want to file a complaint about you. They did nothing. They didn't reach out to me. They just directly filed a, a claim to YouTube. And now instead of talking to each other and trying to find a communal solution, I have a, what's called a strike on my channel. A strike on YouTube is when you get these claims and if a video gets taken down, that strike lasts for three months. And if you have three strikes in a row, that bans your channel for life. That means it's the end of the Martial Arts Journey channel. If I get three of these strikes in, in three months, uh, one by one, the channel will never exist anymore. So for every YouTuber to get a strike, it's a big deal. And also too, if you get strikes, you also start to get limitations on what you can do and what you can't do on YouTube. And again, because I feel this was done unjustly, it's putting me in a bad situation and, and it just sucks. It's not the way it, things are supposed to be. Now I had two different options how to respond to them. And one of them was to reach to them through email, which was used to file the, the claim. Now the thing is that email that they used doesn't even work. I wrote them an email. I, I wrote them a, a detailed email of saying, look, I don't want to be in conflict. You know, let's talk about this. Let's find a solution. I can't even reach them. So I had to go by the other means. I had to do something that actually I already did once for one of my Steven Seagal videos where I I was criticizing him and I had the same situation where I file a complaint to YouTube proving to them that this was done unjustly, that the fair use law is protecting me. And what happened back then, and I have trust is gonna happen again, YouTube goes for this claim in detail, they look at the fair use, they reject it. Now the thing is, if YouTube rejects that claim by seeing that the justful side is on my side, then they have 10 days to sue me in order to try to prove that I used their material wrong and then whatever is in their mind. And believe me, the last thing I want is to be sued. One thing that I could do, I could just stay quiet, do nothing, wait for three months until the, the first strike expires. And I was thinking about that, but I realized, look, this channel is not about that. This channel is about honesty. This channel is about transparency. This channel is about seeking truth. And what they're doing, I feel it is wrong. You cannot do this. And if I will stay quiet, maybe someone else will go through the same situation and they will be afraid to, to fight it back. Maybe they will freak out and they will panic and they will not know what's happening and what to do. So I wanted to make sure that I make this video and I put everything on the table. I let you know what happened and how things roll so that hopefully you will learn from this experience as much as much as I do and you will see the truth that this is somewhat ugly. Now whoever filed the claim, they can still retract that claim. They can admit that they were wrong and I hope that that's what they will do. If they will, look, I won't go into war. I won't, I won't keep pushing the subject. I mean, I understand, you know, everybody gets hurt. Nobody wants criticism online and I won't pursue that criticism anymore. But if this will go down, you know, it is risky for me. You know, who knows? I definitely don't want to get those free strikes. I definitely want, don't want my channel to get shut down for, for a thing like this. But at the same time, again, I looked at my options. I thought about it. You know, should I be silent and just let this slide? But I looked into myself and I realized I can't do this. For me, the truth, honesty, and sharing is too important. This journey is all about growing and whatever I go through, you guys go through as well. So hopefully this will all end well and whatever happens next, we'll have to see. Let me know in the comments of what you think about this situation. Do you think that the video was taken down on good terms? Are you upset about all of this as much as I am? And until we meet in the next video, as always, I wish you to own your journey.